I'm sorry, how much? How much did I get paid for that? We're in a slightly different area to start out the day. We are in a more downtown area. That's why I'm in a parking garage. Uber Eats, $14 for 3.6 miles. The mileage is pretty low, but since we're in a downtown area, it might be a little bit difficult. Not a terrible situation there. I, of course, like the walk to the restaurant was about two, three minutes, and then the walk back was two, three minutes, and I had to wait in the store about one minute but I still think it's okay. These drop-offs are gonna be pretty short. The first one's only like a mile and a half away. Got those two dropped off. First one was for an apartment complex. Kind of confusing, but Uber led me to the right area. And then the second one was to a house right in the heart of downtown. So we were in perfect position for another order. We got one from Modern Market from Uber Eats. This one over $7 and the mileage less than two miles and it's supposed to only take 11 minutes that must mean the order's ready the order was ready when i walked in it was such a short drive it was too uh i wasn't an apartment complex maybe like a condo so we had to spend a couple minutes driving around the complex found the unit dropped it off now we're sitting at about 21 maybe 22 dollars so far in the first like 45 50 minutes we drove back to our normal hot spot didn't want to be in that downtown area forever it's just a little experiment we're in our normal area now picked up a chipotle order this one was for 11 dollars 50 cents uber eats it's delivering the mileage was high but figured that was okay because it could have a hidden tip and on the way after i found out where i was delivering we got a doordash offer and i was like hey that's on the same route i only have to go like 0.3 miles out of my way to do the doordash order so seven dollars for jersey mics turned into seven dollars and fifty cents and the chipotle order we just got that dropped off we went back to the hot spot declined a ton of orders there are orders out there there's just all really bad but we had already declined a wingstop order and then we got it again but this time it was stacked with a subway order doordash likes to do that i made a video about that like pretty recently if you want to check that out it was a subway order for seven dollars we got that one dropped off very easily it was such a short trip i love that i wish it was a single order but it didn't happen like that and the wing stop order that was also paired with it the order actually was ready when i walked in so that's very nice rarely happens on wing stop that's why i declined it in the first place and then we drove it off i believe there's six dollars 75 cents on that one so 13 dollars 75 cents total for that stack really want to focus my efforts on the dinner shift and so we are going to come back out here in about an hour or two maybe like at 3 p.m it's like 1 30 right now and we're going to see how much money we can make and we're back right before three o'clock we got a doordash order for ono oh hawaiian barbecue 12 dollars approximately seven miles it's pretty far but it's going to take me a, a, just like a mile or two to get back in the hot spot anyway and hey who knows if DoorDash is hiding tips on these ones. It was only like a 10 minute drive, so not bad at all. Up to the fourth floor of an apartment, dropped it off, and a little bit of a hidden tip, $14 for that one. I felt good about DoorDash and Uber Eats is probably pretty slow because dinner isn't even close to starting right now. So we took another DoorDash order for again, $12.25 hoping for maybe something extra. Uh, went to the first restaurant, order was not ready. So I went to the second restaurant, order was ready. So back to the first restaurant would go, but they're right next to each other, so not a big deal. And that one took another like, I don't know, like another three minutes to get ready. Hoping for some hidden tips, but first drop off, no hidden tip. And the second one, also no hidden tip. That's all right, we're starting off pretty solid on DoorDash and hopefully Uber Eats comes in soon. Well, still searching for the first Uber Eats order of the night. We're gonna take this $12 order for Pita Jungle. These ones usually have the orders ready and I know it's gonna be ready because I had to get gas first. So the odds of it actually being ready are very, very high. It was ready and delivering to a kind of confusing apartment complex. Was not looking forward to it, but the instructions from the customers that they were gonna meet me in the garage. So I just like parked right off of the main street and it was such an easy delivery. 
and I got $13 for it. So that's very exciting. Got to make sure that I'm accepting good orders now with this $2 peak pay. After we dropped off the PETA jungle order, I was struggling to find an order. I had DoorDash and Uber Eats running. And at one point, I even activated myself on Grubhub because I just really wasn't getting a whole lot. I was parked like right in the middle of a busy area, but I just wasn't really getting anything. I only declined maybe a couple from DoorDash and a couple from Uber Eats. I parked myself right in between Cheesecake Factory and P.F. Chang's because I wanted a good order and I got P.F. Chang's order. This one mileage might be a little bit high for the payout, but I saw that there was a lot of items on this order. I think it can be more. And if you didn't watch my last ride along, apparently I'm part of the catering program. I don't even know how that happened. This subtotal is $127, which I feel like this can go up from the amount we saw on the acceptance screen. Ooh, that's a very nice tip there. Over $20 order from P.F. Chang's. That's exactly what I wanted. That's why I was sitting in my car right outside P.F. Chang's. And we did get an Uber Eats order, but first we had to drive back to our hotspot and pick up a DoorDash order. This one was for $8.50 for Wendy's. I don't love going to Wendy's when their lobby is closed and the drive through line is long, but thankfully, the drive-through line was not long and their lobby was open. So I went inside and I picked up the order. I had to wait about five minutes, which is much better than the usual 10. So that's great. And when we dropped it off, it was to a hotel. I don't love hotels, but it was pretty easy to get to the room. It was on the second floor and we dropped it off, got a hidden tip. It was really, really nice. $11 payout there. Now we got an Uber order. This one is for Streets of New York. Usually don't have the orders ready, but I was still dropping off that DoorDash order, so gave enough time for it to be ready. And before we got to the restaurant, we picked up an $11 order, additional 2.6 miles. That is even better than the first order. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. We're gonna do both of them, get at least $22 for these two. Uber Eats, the payouts are so high on there even when DoorDash is giving me catering orders. We got another order for P.F. Chang's. I was like, well, if the first one had a big hidden tip, then maybe this one will as well. It's 7.7 .7 miles, so I was like, ah, do, I, do I go for it? I don't know, but I accepted it. And there's an over $100 subtotal, so could have a hidden tip. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a massive payout. That was almost $29, I think. What is going on? Uh, this is the most insane day I've ever had, except for maybe yesterday. Okay, we had to make the decision. It was a very important decision. I had Uber Eats on, I had DoorDash on, we were headed back to the hotspot, and I got two orders. I got this one for Uber Eats, $20, 12 8 miles. That one looked like a really good payout and I wanted to accept it. But then I also got a $20 payout for DoorDash for about 12 miles. DoorDash has been treating me really well tonight. Really, really, really well. And Uber Eats has also been treating me well, but I cannot see the drop-off location on Uber Eats. It's just something that they're deciding to hide from me. I gotta go with DoorDash because I can see the drop-off location. It's not like the best location ever, but at least I can see it and I know I can get back to a hotspot within like eight minutes of me dropping it off. Let's go see if it's more than $20. <laughs> I'm sorry, how much, how much did I get paid for that? Uh, <laughs> All right, hidden tip. That was huge. That was insane. I cannot believe that, but it was a really far delivery. So I guess tipping that well made sense for that. We didn't get a good DoorDash order, so we're gonna take this Uber Eats order for P.F. Chang's. Uh, it is over $11, so there could be a hidden tip, but there's not a lot of food on it. However, I've been in there for five minutes and they just said it's gonna be another 10 minutes. So I unpaused myself on DoorDash. If I get a good order there, I will take it. I finished filming, went to the restroom, came back to the to-go section of the restaurant, and then immediately they came out with the order. So it was less than 10 minutes. So I was like, well, I can't take a DoorDash order now because they handed me the Uber Eats order. So yeah, I'll take that. No idea if there's gonna be a hidden tip on there, but it would be really cool if there was. And before we dropped it off, we got a shop and pay order for CVS. Seven items, a little over $11. The mileage is really good, but 
I didn't know if it was going to take a while to shop for it, but I saw that it was just a bunch of candy, so I think it should be really short. That CVS order really was not the best. Just having to do substitutions really hurts the delivery time. And they only tipped $3, so definitely not going to have a hidden tip. But apparently, I believe I'm going to get $5 extra for it because Uber sent me this thing where if I do like shop and pay orders, they're going to give me a little bit extra. So... I guess it's fine. That's kind of why I accepted it. It was $11 order turned into 16 with that $5 bonus. And then we're sticking with Uber because that took us out of our area. And so we couldn't get a DoorDash order. So we decided to get this Uber order taking us back to our area. $11 for sauce pizza. Sure, I'll do that. And I was still driving to the restaurant because it was about like two and a half mile drive. And I got stacked with an over $10 order here for Tokaya. And this is great. They sent me like 10 orders trying to like stack me like with $2, $3, even like $1 at one point. And I rejected them all until I got this one. So I'm like, yep, $10. This is great. So I mean, like $21, $22 almost to do these two orders. That's great. But the only problem is it took me out of my area, so <laughs> I couldn't do another DoorDash order again. We still have a chance to do more DoorDash orders later, but this one for Uber Eats, $16. I found out why it's $16. It's because the restaurant did not put the order in their system yet. They had like multiple people coming in trying to get the order, but whenever <laughs> the host said, oh yeah, we don't have that in the system yet, it'll be like 15 minutes, like the drivers just left. But I guess I'll stick it out because there's a $16 payout on the line. Yeah, I might as well do that. And we have a quest going on right now. So I already got $10 extra from that. And this one will be the second order in the next tier of the quest. So an additional $4. So it's a $20 delivery. Hopefully when we actually get back into our area, maybe we can do more DoorDash. And if Uber Eats is still solid, I'll do that too. Well, I am really glad I stuck around for that Makayo's order because... I mean, well, okay, yeah, it did take like probably 20 minutes after I arrived. And it turns out an hour later, we got the hidden tip and it's massive, almost $30 for that one order. And then I was like, okay, DoorDash or Uber Eats, which one's gonna give me a good order? And it turns out we got one for Uber Eats. It was over $11 under five miles. Sure, of course I'll take it again. I don't know how busy it's gonna be, so might as well take that. And I guess there could be a hidden tip on that one as well. Then DoorDash came in for this order for North Italia. And I believe there was a little bit of a hidden tip on top of there. I think like a dollar extra. That's very, very nice. And then we moved on to P.F. Chang's $8.50. It is the fourth time I've gone to P.F. Chang's today, I believe. But there's $3 peak pay on right now. So no hidden tip on there. They just ordered fried rice. I guess that works for me. It was ready pretty quickly. And then the next one was for a sushi place, $8.50. Again, $3 peak pay, so no hidden tip on that one. But now we're at Buffalo Wild Wings, $11.50. I guess this one could have a hidden tip. The only problem is I walk in there and there's already two other drivers just like standing around. No orders are ready. I did not see one employee in the entire restaurant. Well, you want to know how long I waited? <laughs> This is ridiculous. Look at this screenshot. I waited 40 minutes past the pickup time. I was having conversations with the other drivers there. We were just hanging out, having a good time. And well, we weren't having a good time, but at least it was nice to have somebody to talk to. I just decided to keep it because I thought just this is just so ridiculous. I wanna see how long it can go on. But I contacted support. I said, I've been waiting way too long. I'm gonna be waiting 45 minutes at least. And it ended up being a little bit more than that. And they decided that they wanted to give me $5 extra for completing the order. I don't really know what their policy is about that, but $5 extra is, I guess it's fine. And <laughs> we're gonna go get this dropped off. I feel really bad for the customer for them waiting this long, but at least their food is fresh. All right, I gotta be done after that. We made $190 on DoorDash, maybe slightly more than that. And on Uber Eats, $173, making $369 today. Pretty good shift. I'm really liking these catering orders from DoorDash and Uber Eats, man. 
You are my favorite still, but DoorDash, I don't know. It's it's a very, very close second. I still went to church this morning, still had lunch with my wife. It was great getting to do the things that I like to do and still make a lot of money today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't caught the first video that I found out about my catering orders on DoorDash, click on the video right here. Don't forget we're doing a giveaway at the end of this month. If you comment on every video in September and are a subscriber of the channel, you could win money from me. Full details are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.